Forager. 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 Oh, I like this gun. Man. Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are literally picking up right where we left off. It's only been a couple of seconds since I left you in the last episode. Um, and so we were giving, uh, or we're given a Mako by our new Boron friends here. And so there it is. Well, that's an interesting looking ship. Look at that sucker. Cool. Um... I remember the Mako being a pretty fast ship in the X3. I don't know if it was as fast as the Pegasus, but it was still uh, not a bad scout at all. Um, Unknown ship. Use. Oh. Oh, cool. That's an interesting way to get in the ship. Find an uh, inactive jump gate. How does he know that? It seems that you are best suited to this task. I have been there before. I wonder if he, if it's scripted in for him to say that if I've uncovered it on the map. Reunited with my fellow Boron. It never crossed my mind that they might be in such impoverished circumstances. I know that the Alliance has received communications from Kingdom End, but those were dispatched decades ago. Hopefully, they have fared better than the Boron here. I am curious about the contents of their message. Just how much of their preliminary findings have they shared with their Alliance counterparts? Once we have gained access to both Gates' data, maybe the Alliance really intends to conduct experiments from our side too. Trying to manipulate Gates would be an incredibly involved undertaking. Yet it seems as though Numancoret is single-minded about the whole endeavor. Can you imagine the possibilities that would be open to us if we could manipulate these Gates at will? Okay. Um, let's jump in our new Mako here. Take it for a spin. Oh, wow. Those are some cool sound effects. Oh, that is awesome. I love that, you guys. Uh, what kind of weaponry do we have? We have an Ion Gatling and a phase gun, okay? So probably sort of like a, a pulse blaster and a, an Ion cannon idea, except for that it's a lot faster than the normal Ion cannon. Okay, definitely nice and maneuverable. Um, let's see what its, uh, travel speed is. I have arrived at my designated inactive gate. I shall commence taking readings immediately. All right, go for a Neela T. So it looks like this one tops out at about 56. The Peggy can go over 8,000 meters per second. So Peggy's still definitely the king when it comes to scouts and exploring. Um, but this one has two weapons on it, though. Well, you know what, though? This is actually probably a normal fighter. This is probably not a scout fighter. I don't know that for sure, though. Okay, so... Um, the thing is, is... We c oh, I should probably put this back on, huh? <laughs> um, we should probably... I don't know if we want to take 
our force in there with us because we're not supposed to engage in any combat. I was asked to drop my cargo. Oh, we got a traitor that's being harassed. Okay, let's uh, deal, help this guy out. One thing I don't understand is I have these guys set to retaliate, but they still over, they still flee, and I don't understand why. Oh, because it's pirate harassment. Oh, that's why. Okay, so I want you to attack. And I want to set, because I want these guys to fight these dudes. They're in really tough ships now, and they have their fighter wings with them. So pirate harassment is always attack. And they'll they'll let me know so I can look, because if, if, if they're about to try and attack a destroyer, then I'll, of course, call them off in that particular case. But most of the time, it's not a destroyer. It's, it's just, you know, the smaller pirates. I couldn't figure out why they kept running away, but that's because that's a different scenario. Okay, so I told him to attack, and let's also have the, his fighters directly attack, too, even though they would eventually do that automatically. Okay, let's see what happens here. Are we here? We better slow down here. I'll have to decide what to do. Well, that's a destroyer. <clears throat> but that's also a Xenon. That's not a pirate. Well, he's like just going along his merry way. Um, okay. I don't want these guys to scrap with him. So they'll probably not fare too well. We'll have them kill the Xenon and then withdraw from the destroyer. Looks like they're on their way back to their to the trader. Uh, this guy took some hull damage, so let's have him run over here and repair. All right, so um, <clears throat> let's look at our personnel here and look at captains I'm gonna pull I think I'm gonna pull this two. oh yeah this two star captain here uh, which is on Station Miner Gas 1, and put that on the Mako. So Station Miner Gas 1. Right click and... All right, we can't... Well, can we exchange captains? There isn't a captain on the other one is the thing. So does the game now leave this ship captainless, or does it automatically promote somebody else? Promote best crew member to captain. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, so that just does that automatically. Well, not automatically, but as soon as I hit the button. Okay, so now the, the Mako has a captain. Very good. So what exactly do you want us to do? We I guess we have to go check out a gate here um i was going to also point out something to you guys that i have two 
You know, we bought these two Talati cranes, and these guys are just unbelievably tough. They get attacked by cock ships and xenon, and it it just they barely tickle them. Um, but they and I also but they also had trouble killing them just because <clears throat> it seems like the plasma cannons weren't hitting very well. And I'm starting to wonder if using plasma cannons out of sector no longer works like it used to because it doesn't seem very effective from observations I've made. Um, so if you guys know in later versions of this game, I'm we're on version 6 of course, that they've changed that so plasma cannons are no longer the go-to for out of sector, then let me know that because I am not impressed with them from just observing out of sector combat. Anyway, um, the point being is I'm very, very impressed with how tough these these uh, large miners are, the, their cranes in particular. Uh, so, you know, I'm not worried at all about them if they go up against smaller ships. A destroyer, that would be a different story, of course. Okay, let's go look at our mission here. So, it just wants me to go into Sanctuary of Darkness and and find the inactive gate. Um, but we're not supposed to apparently engage um, with the cock if we go in there, which probably would not be a good idea for us to do in any case. All right, well, let's go do that. I think I'm gonna leave because here again, we, we don't want to engage with them. I think I'm going to leave the um, the Nemesis and the squadron here. Uh, they should, they're still probably being pulled along by that ship. Or where are they actually? Uh, Nemesis is in... He's back in Heretic's End. Okay. I want you guys... Whoops to just come and hang out at the wharf. Just dock and wait at the wharf. But what I'm thinking is when they get... Did they must... Yeah, that Boron ship must have come all the way back out here. Uh, but what I think I'd like to do is take... The Pegasus in there just because it's so much fat. Well, no, you know what? Let's just take the Mako in there. It's a new ship. We can fly it around and have some fun with it. We'll take the Mako in there. Okay. Uh, so the rest of the crew will just come and dock at the wharf and be available to us uh, when we come back out. Entering system. Sanctuary of Darkness. Sanctuary of Darkness. According to our archives, there was once a Xenon presence hereabouts in the network. I wonder what befell them. Oh, is that so? Then we were quite lucky that our systems were not connected directly to a Xenon stronghold. There was no way we would have survived, given the state of our military. Now, see if you can locate the inactive gate in this system. Be careful. Take great care when navigating. We must honor our word and avoid the cock. You will also need to be cautious of the region's other hazards. I recommend that you stick close to the asteroids. They seem to be an exceptional indicator of where your ship will not be harmed. Oh, really? Okay, that's interesting. So stay close to the asteroids, she says. There's a what looks to be an accelerator there, but that's not the same thing as a gate. They want me to find a gate. So I'm guessing that's probably not what they want us to go after. Not to mention the fact that it's not really... Well, is it close to the asteroids? Thing is, is if we go... If we enter that gate, is it going to be throwing us way out into the bad stuff? I think we should stay close to the roids and let's do um a long range
All right, so what is all this? This is all unknown stations. I think those are all probably the old Xenon stations like that one we visited the last time we were here. All right, so let's follow kind of this asteroid area and we'll get a, a little further to the north and then we'll do another long range scan. I wonder what that um, spire looking thing way over there is. I've seen it in the loading screen. Now I am starting to wish I would have brought the Pegasus because it's just so much faster than this ship. I guess we can go into travel drive. We just want to make sure we stay in, within the asteroids. So. Oh, that's a cock uh, base there. I don't think we want to go anywhere near that. Um, there's another one of those spire thingies. We don't want to go off that direction. Okay, let's do another long range. Yeah, I don't, I really don't, oh, there we go. I bet you that's it right there. Um, the thing is though, is how do we get to it without getting out of the asteroids? Hopefully we can kind of stay on this edge and there will be an asteroid path up there. All right, let's go. I don't know guys, I'm not seeing any more asteroids from this point forward. I mean, can we go near this station without pissing them off? That's really the only way we can go. Uh, either that or we backtrack, go back to the gate and see if there's another path around there. But these are probably cock stations too. So that doesn't really seem like a, a good solution. Okay, well, let's just keep going this way and hopefully nothing happens. Guard. Yeah, this is not this is not good. Let's go back this way. I have a feeling like we're we're not going the right way. We'll go back to the gate and see if there's like a another asteroid path to get over there. Okay, 
Okay, let's go along this way instead. Definitely has the dark spots in it. Danger. Oh, shit. How's that dangerous? We're still we're in the asteroid field still. You scared the heck out of me, man. Here, let's do another scan. Oh, I guess we did kind of maybe pass into an open area there. What is that? That's an asteroid. So it looks like we want to maybe go more over this way. Okay. I don't know. That looks like we're kind of getting out into an open area, though. I'm right next to an asteroid. What the heck? Um. Can we? Can we get over there? I was asked to drop my cargo. You're just gonna have to get away, bud. Uh, I don't know what to do. I guess... Here, let me look again. That doesn't get us right next to the cock station. Um, it looks like there's maybe an asteroid path going up that way, or one going through here, but I'm not visibly seeing them. And when I move that direction, I get zapped by lightning. Let's just see if we can get over to this waypoint here. Oh no, don't do that. We need our shields. <laughs> yeah, that didn't hit us. Okay, since we're here. Danger. Oh! Ow! I want to get a closer look at these things. I've seen them in the load screen. They have these like red crystals on them. Danger. Oh, this is a little bit uh, unnerving. That's not something I can... I can, uh, target. It's not letting me target it. Danger. Dang, man. Okay, well, there's the gate. I guess as long as the lightning doesn't hit us so frequently that our shields can't recharge, we can probably handle this. Um, I mean, how else am I supposed to get there other than to go there from here, right? Let's look at the map Danger. again. We could... Maybe stay close. Danger. Damn. 
Stay close to those asteroids? That looks like that might be a wreck. Dead ahead. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. This system is creeping me out right about now. That lightning is scary. Danger. Okay. Nope. Don't do that. Danger. Danger. Hazardous region detect all damage. Oh, this is different than the lightning. Oh shit. Get out of here. All critical. We're gonna die. Ejecting. Okay, so <sighs> shit. <Emerge> <laughs> Wow. So I guess the lightning hitting the ship isn't the actual danger. There's like a corrosive nebula or something that just annihilated me. Damage is getting serious. Uh, you think? Son of a bitch. Okay, so I haven't actually done a save since that autosave. So what I'm going to do is I might have to go through some cutscenes again. So I'm just going to cut the camera and go through yeah the autosave was the last one we did uh, go through all that stuff again and I'll bring you guys back when I get more or less right back to the point where we just bit the dust there uh, well not quite at that point because yeah dangerous all right so I'll see you guys in a bit here okay guys we're back in sanctuary of darkness I have the um, Pegasus this time um, so let's see if we can get Danger. Over to here, maybe. We're still kind of on the edge of the asteroids. Oh, crap, that's not good. Okay. Danger. I don't want to get too far out away from the asteroids. And we are being pursued by a cock ship, which is not good. Just shit. I can't, I'm not supposed to fight him. Forager. I mean, I gotta defend myself though. I don't know if he's gonna get pissed that I did that. Oh, by the way, I put, um, here, let's pause the game for a second. <clears throat> I'm trying out, I can't remember what they're called. Um, bu 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 <coughs> blast mortars, <coughs> or one blast mortar, but as you can see that one direct hit on that forager took him out. Um, they're kind of, they're kind of like faster plasma cannons. So yeah, that was good. Um, Danger. I don't know if um, I'm going to get in trouble for killing him, but I didn't have much of a choice. All right, let's do another scan here. And yeah, blast mortars are the bomb. That was awesome. Okay, let's see if it... Okay, so it did detect the gate there. But what I want to do is I want to go... I want to try and stay in these asteroids as best as I can. It's really hard to see though. Everything's just all foggy here. Um, so I guess let's go this way. I can't see crap in here. Okay, there's some roids that way. The lightning is dangerous, but it's not anywhere near as bad as that nebula eating Crap. Oh shit, there's a cock base. Okay, let's stop here for a second. Look at the map again. Oh. I totally went the wrong direction. Alright, in that case, let's do it. Let's make ourselves a path, say, up to here. 
I got disoriented. In fact, I'm probably upside down. Whoops. Am I upside down? No, I'm not. Okay. So let's go through this way. So according to the map, we're, we're still in an asteroid area, even though I can't visibly see them very well. I can kind of see some of them, I suppose. Okay, let's stop right here. Danger. Jeez, that scared me. Okay. Now, let's look at the map again. Okay, so I think the... Isn't the blue area supposed to be... Uh, where's the legend at on the map? Here. Yeah, blue is gas. So we're just a little bit out of the asteroid field. But it looks like if we go directly this way now, we'll pretty much stay in the asteroid field. Uh, maybe even come south... Well, whatever direction this is, this way a little bit, and then I can see the gate now. It's just right off over that way. Alright, so hopefully we can get all the way there without running into that uh, ship hull nebula eating gas. Yeah, it looks like we'll remain in... Well, shoot. We'll remain in asteroids up to this point. Hmm. I only have... I have to assume that once we get to the gate, we won't be in the nasty... Danger. The nasty gas stuff. So maybe we just make a run for it. Let's wait for our shields are all... Um, our shields are completely all the way back. Because, I mean, I don't see any other have to get over there and and remain in asteroids okay well let's make a run for it here I'm not gonna use the boost though because I need all my shields there are asteroids near the gate Okay, so yeah, it looks like we'll we should be okay here. Up to this point anyway. Unknown object. There's something over there too, I'm not sure. Might be an accelerator. I think it is. Some travel drive. Get a little closer here. There it is. Approaching the jump gate in the cell. Try to get a reading. Oh, that is an accelerator of some sort. Alright, so he wants us to get a reading on the nacelle, which are the things, I guess, that hold the data for the gate.
Okay. So, do you want me to go scan the other nacelles? We have gathered everything we can oh, we access go. from this nacelle. Move on to the one on the opposite side. Opposite side. Gotcha. Okay. Hope the Boron don't get pissed at me for killing that cock, but I had no choice. Self defense. Yes. Some of this data looks rather promising. I'm forwarding all of this to our science team as we speak. Can I leave now? I don't like this place. Of course you are. What's going to happen now? Um, well, there's that. So can I run now? I think it's time to run. All right, hold on a sec. Turn that off. Three Kah foragers. What does the mission say to do? Survive. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, now I'm starting to wish that I would have brought the Corvette in here instead, but Forager. Of course we can do that too, you know, and uh I didn't have him targeted. Forager. Let's target this one. Forager. The nice thing is these guys come right at you, so you can just do that. Forager. You know, I think we got this, you guys. This isn't so bad after all. <laughs> oh, I like this gun. Man. The blast mortar? Dudes. You fought bravely, Explorer. Thank you. I yes. love blast mortars. Your display of skill was altogether impressive. Uh, thank I just you. hope this commotion does not result in a more severe, unwelcome reaction. You mean like getting struck by lightning? That kind of reaction? Our science team has poured over the data that Neil and T was able to lend from the cache. While we have not yet completed our examination of the Sanctuary of Darkness cache, it is quite obviously the most promising of the gates. Despite the additional challenges the Kotlock will represent. More dangerous, perhaps. But I'm afraid that things are not going well in Ocean of Fantasy either. The system's planet is devastated and completely uninhabitable. Perhaps, once the provinces have re established their economy, they can attempt some terraforming. For now, this expedition needs you to map out safe passage for a larger fleet to navigate through Sanctuary of Darkness. You can use nav beacons to determine an appropriate route. Just stay clear of the and other hazardous regions. Obviously. Obviously. For a better overview of the task in hand, do not hesitate to consult your map. Yeah, I know how to consult my map, dude. Thanks. Um, okay. Well, I mean, the way that we got over here seems to be reasonably safe. Um, we know that if we go back this way, we have to go really close to that installation, which is not ideal. Uh, while we're up here, by the way, let's do another long range scan up to the north and just see if anything else pops up. Okay, so what does the quest specifically say to do? Deploy nav beacons to map out a safe path between gates. Okay. Um, I wonder if... Yeah, see, there's nothing, nothing here, so that's not going to be a safe path.
Can we can we go through here? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a marker to here. I'm gonna also do a quick save because I don't wanna have to do all this all over again. Let's just see if we can go directly to that marker. There's a couple of hexes there that don't have asteroids, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna be hazardous, or maybe it does. Let's make sure we're oriented correctly so we know we're going the right way. Okay, let's just see if we can travel across this way without... You know, for the longest time, the community of planets for the Kark had been eradicated by their joint efforts. Recent attacks on solitary miners, and now this, prove this notion was overly optimistic. Okay, so it looks like we can definitely travel to this point here. Alright, so let's, um... I think I have nav beacons in this ship. I do. That would suck if you didn't have any, because then you'd have to go get them. Okay, so that's the first nav beacon. And a straight line from here to the gate is safe. Now what we want to do is go... Probably to do another beacon here, and then one down here, and then down that way. Um, see, now this little area here, it's got hexes, but it doesn't have any colors, whereas this is completely open. And then there's the lightning. I just don't like getting that close to these stations, but why don't we do this? Let's go to here. And we'll put another nav beacon there. And then we might just carefully poke down south out into that other area and see if um we can get away with that. see where we are. No, I don't think we can travel through this area. Not at all. Okay, so let's pop a nav beacon here then. And then we're going to go down to here. Oh, oh, that's the beacon. <laughs> it scared the heck out of me. I'm going, what the hell's that? It's my beacon. <laughs> Man, this system gives me the heebie-jeebies, you guys. Oh, my goodness. So we should be safe to get to this point. Well, safe from the hole-eating nebula or gas or whatever the hell it is. Yeah, blast mortars rock. Oh my goodness. These things are fantastic. All right, let's actually back up a little bit. I don't want to get any closer to that cock station than we absolutely have to. Okay, yeah, that's probably a good place for us to drop the next beacon.
Okay, now... We should be able to just kind of go right down the center of this. But we should put a few more beacons down. Just to show, you know, a little bit more of a clear path. This is a pretty fun mission. It's different. Danger. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the map. Our next drop point will be here. I'll bet you the Mako had nav beacons in it now that I think about it, because the mission was expecting you to take the fighter to do this. Oh! Yeah! Going to here is dangerous or not? Danger. Well, aside from lightning, let's just play it safe and put one more beacon kind of in this little area here. Maybe right about there. Danger. Why is there an exclamation point? Oh, wait. No, yeah, why is there an exclamation point there? I don't know. Um... Did that not register? Sure. All right, well, let's go lay this one down. There's an exclamation mark up there. I mean, it's. Here, set that to active. It's within, within that sphere easily within that sphere. Maybe it'll update once we leave the system because that's a good safe path right there. Well, let's, um, whoa, why is my radar all yellow? That was weird. Well, let's leave the system and see if it updates. Oops.
entering system. Great Reef. Hmm. Nope, it didn't update. Okay, well there's... Apparently it doesn't like... The beacon that I put. Entering system. Sanctuary of darkness. That I put where that exclamation mark is, and I don't understand why. Well, there's one here, too. What the heck's going on here? I think we can probably fly straight to that. Didn't scare me that time. Okay, um... Danger. I'm a little disoriented here. Okay, because it's very hard to see, for one thing. Alright, where is that beacon at? It's right there. Nav beacon. I guess I'm going to pick it up and put it back down again. Um, here, let me look at the map again. Danger. Danger. Deactivate. Okay, now deploy nav beacon. Nav beacon deployed successfully. Okay. All right, maybe Danger. it didn't <clears throat> didn't do it in the right timing or something. It still has an exclamation mark there, though. I don't understand. I'm so confused. You can see the asteroid belt kind of like going through here. What does the quest say now? Does it want me to put like another one down inside of here? Danger. All right, let's try that. I mean, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Nav beacon. There we go. Nav beacon successfully deployed. Yes, it looks like you found a route. Nicely done, explorer. You're welcome. Everyone, move in. The expedition shall now establish a scientific outpost. This may be the beginning of a most fruitful phase in our journey together. Just be careful. There's a cock in here. I suggest uh, blast mortars. I kick the crap out of them. Okay, um... So, now what? We still have to do that quest, too. I guess that's it. For now, anyway. Are they going to come in?
This nav beacon here is is green, which means I own it. These are no longer Danger. green. So I guess that one isn't actually necessary. Let's go pick it up. What are you guys doing exactly? Just kind of very slowly moving along the path. They were using uh, travel drive for a while. Okay, well, I guess that's it for now. My guess is that at some point we will get something else that'll pop up to call us back to keep working on this I, I hope um, do we have anything in our messages yeah we got this wayfinder progress report all right go ahead and pause the screen if you guys want to read this interesting okay so they're saying it's gonna take like four years for them to do this and they still have to figure out what the the key is um have we gained rep with alliance oh we have look at that nice one more point and then we can buy the military grade weapons from their station when we're outfitting nodan fighters very very good we could probably just go over to their station and do a mission or pop a couple bad guys criminals to get that up to 10. all right well that was that was worth the price of admission right there. We established a perimeter oh. around the inactive jump gate. Now we are commencing the construction of an outpost. Do not elevate your hopes quite yet. Experimentation shall begin soon, but jump gate technology is very alien and highly volatile. We do not know for certain whether we can ever successfully force a connection, particularly without real-time coordination with our Kingdom and counterparts. Nonetheless, we have an ideal candidate gate for experimentation. The Alliance of the Word has an obligation to our cousins in Kingdom End to try our utmost. These technological marvels have eluded our understanding to date. Something about the interface has remained stubbornly out of reach. The final spark. In Congratulations! You have performed your part, and you have done so unimpeachably. Updated on our progress in the coming years. And, if fate wills it, you may one day find your name in the annals of the great explorers and scientists. Right on. Very cool. Okay, um, did we get one more point of rep by chance? <laughs> uh, no, we're still plus nine. Okay. Alright, well, I guess. I don't know if that concludes it permanently. It kind of sounded final. Um, but I don't think so because the DLC is called Kingdom End. So I'm guessing, and you know, guys, don't give anything away, but I'm guessing that more is going to happen at some point. And, you know, yeah, that's what I'm guessing, that more is going to happen at some point with this mission. But I think that's about all we can do right now. So let's get out of this terrible system to start with. But And actually, we need to wrap up this episode anyway. Uh, but I'm going to... I'm going to do one of those. And yeah, so... Oh, hold you on. You must forgive my absence in your most recent exploratory endeavors. It is just... I have been somewhat preoccupied with my own observations. When okay. did Numancaren say the Alliance of the Word plans to conclude their experiments? Well, the expedition leader did suggest that he would keep us up to date over the coming years. What? Years, you say? 
That is... Oh my, that is rather disappointing. I had hoped to contribute to their experiments right away. Well, since you are already running errands in Boron space, would you mind assisting me in my personal research? I guess Ever not. Since my tentacles first grasped the scientific equipment in this research installation, I have been utterly fascinated by the Great Reef Nebula. Not even that pesky Sagaris Pioneer's vessel could divert my focus for long. You see, I have identified several neutron stars, magnetars in fact, which pulse in an oddly specific way. One could be an anomaly, two might be a coincidence, but I have already identified a potential third. I need you to verify my observations, independently. To that end, I have compiled a list of positions in Great Reef that I need you to visit. So Please do forgive me if I appear somewhat excitable. You're always excitable. There is a chance that this could point to a discovery of immeasurable significance. Beso Tar has informed me of your exciting plans. You must let me accompany you. In fact, I will not take no for an answer. Right. The alliance okay. is in the midst of their preparations. I have to say, the deluge of scientific jargon leaves me cold. I much prefer action. As long as I don't have to escort you anywhere. Whew. Okay, so yeah, it's not over, which is awesome. So I guess we need to go to Great Reef and... He wants us to fly near Magnetars? That would kind of sort of kill us, wouldn't it? <laughs> Magnetars are like neutron stars, but have like even stronger magnetic fields. or Yeah, something like that. I'm not an uh, astronomist, so I don't really fully understand all that stuff. But I know that a Magnetar is like a super serious magnetic neutron star or something to that effect i'm sure those of you who know more about those things will correct me in the comments which is fine um so okay so we are done with this episode so i'm gonna fly out this gate save the game go to bed because it's late and i'm tired and then in the next episode we will um i think we'll just keep working on this on these missions for now um just because i'm kind of curious to see where it's going to go but the ultimate goal hopefully will be that we'll open up kingdom end which i'm guessing is going to happen at some point I want to remind you that i am going to be out of town the first week in may I'll be back around on the 8th or something like that and so while i'm away uh i'll have a few pre-recorded more pre-recorded videos for you but i don't i don't know if i'll have enough to keep you uh, going the whole time that i'm away but when i return we'll pick up where we left off and continue on in this awesome space simulator see you guys later Bye bye